Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link It's Awakening! <laughs> Zero Low Bowl, Shadow Blade 730, and since last time I went ahead and just grounded a little bit of rupees I needed and purchased that one piece of heart right there. Now we have another full one, doing really good. Okay, let's head over this way, see if we can explore, see if we can find where the next dungeon is. Find those wind instruments. Man, I'm just off my game today. <laughs> hey, Dante. Let me take a step in my shack. Uh, we will do that, but not right now. I want to do a couple things first. Let's see if we can dig a hole. Eh, nothing there. <laughs> right, let's head over here. Ooh, there's a graveyard and zombies! Yeah, we don't have any fire. Sure way to deal with zombies is with fire. Collect some more rupees because we will need a bunch of rupees. But more importantly, if you push this grave, there's a secret passageway. All right. Let's see what's in here. Um, okay, this one's kind of tricky. Um, now, what you can do is, since this one little stone is cracked, what you want to do is place a bomb right here. My problem is you are going to take some damage. There's, there's no other way, way around it. Oh, eh, I'll take it. I'll be all right. Hop across here, make your way across. Now, to get that hard piece, you can make a diagonal jump if you really want to, but it's, it's kind of tricky, so I'm not going to worry about it. Well, I'll come back when I get a particular item that will make it a lot easier to get a hold of. But first things first, let's kill these. Now, this is a special grave that we'll need to uh, remember for later, but for now, I heard there was a rumor that, yeah, Apparently, if you spray powder, there was like supposed to get some kind of weird message, but apparently not. So I'll just go there. But if we dig here, we'll get another secret seashell. Hopefully, one day we'll be able to find some kind of use for them. But we'll go over here, and hey, that's where the witch was. Let's head through this graveyard once again because there is an item I definitely want to get up here. Let's head over here through the graveyard. All the undead and ghosts and yada yada yada. Yeah. Cut some grass here, see if we can get some corn rupees. Oh, nothing there. <laughs> Anywho, head up here, kill some of these crows. They're kind of tricky because they'll fly up and then fly down to your level, so but they'll basically fly down to exactly where you were, so they're really easy to dodge. Ooh, five rupees, friends. Ooh, and a piece of power. Awesome. See, rocks further across, and we get another piece of heart. All right, three more. We'll have another full heart container. Very nice. And over here. Now, since we collected all that, uh, I think we kind of need to progress just a little bit. Yeah. Make way through, back through the cemetery one more time. Hopefully, we can avoid these zombies. Last thing we want is the zombie apocalypse and links. In a, in a Zelda game. Although that would make sense. I mean, most Zelda games do have some kind of undead. Right. Now, yeah, we have a new kind of um, Octorok here. Octoroks with wings! Like I said, one too many Red Bulls. But whenever you swipe at them with your sword, they'll hop over you. So if you just plan it out, you can deal them relatively easily. And we have Moblins. See? They'll hop over and then right there. Hop over. Well... Good thing is if they're actually locked, uh, blocked, blocked by a wall, they won't be able to do that. Now here we won't be able to traverse that until we get a particular item. That's um, yeah. You viewers know what item I'm talking about. <laughs> oh look, it's another dungeon with a bunch of slimes. How slimy! But apparently we need a key to open that. So let's see what we can do to find that slime key. Besides, cut this guy's grass. I mean, it looks like he's been a while since he had his lawn mowed. That's one thing I'm not looking forward to in the summertime is lawn mowing. It's never been a thing I've enjoyed. Hey, you got blue hair and a unique sprite. Who are you? Hey, it's Richard. Salutations. Oh. Yeah, kind of. So, the golden leaf, actually. There's five of them. Now, he'll tell you to go ahead and go buy a shovel. But, yeah, this is why I kind of purchase a shovel anyways first of all because you get a lot of items like secret seashell seashells and such but also you're gonna need it for this side quest anyway well I, I say it's like a side quest but 
it's a essential quest to actually progress the actual main story. Let's head over here. Now, if you need to hop back across, you can just hop through here and get back to where you were. Uh, but I also think you can dig something. Sometimes we can dig something, but apparently the game is not allowing me to dig. So, oh well. But we're gonna dig anyway, because I like digging. Dig a bigger hole. Yeah, maybe get a couple items. Hey, there's a rupee there. Bad. Watch out for those little mushroom flying enemies. I forgot what they call, but they were in uh, Link to the Pass as well. They drop bombs and they will blow you up. Ow! Even though I was on a different level, but okay, I'll take it. More flying Octoroks. Now watch out for those pits because, ooh, they have man grabbers! Now over there, I could probably do that side quest, but mm, not yet. First things first, let's head up here. I mean, we've been collecting a lot of secret seashells. Oh, wow, that's a bunch of moblins. Stupid moblin. Bye, moblin. Ooh, look, there's a seashell on top of that building. I wonder if that's where we're supposed to deliver these seashells. Basically, yes it is. But first, let's see if we can collect another one. Now, that, that dirt is reacting kind of weirdly. Yeah, now we have another teleportal over here. Along with another secret seashell. Very nice. Let's see what um getting all these secret seashells is actually getting rewards with. The seashell mansion. Oh, high spirit of the mansion. Oh. Well, I found a bunch of the ultimate sword? Well, I'm all for that. Just gotta step up a little bit. Okay, what do I get? Okay, I get one prize. Do I get two prizes? Uh, a little short. But I get one prize. And the first reward for collecting sea secret seashells, we get... A piece of heart! Yeah, two more to go before I get another full heart container. Very nice. Well, let's see if we can actually find those um, golden leaves. It sounds like Richard needs them. I mean, if he can help us get the actual next key so we can get to the next dungeon, all the more merrier. Oh, stupid. Octorok! Urgh. Bye, Octorok. Head up here and see if we can get into this castle that Richard was talking about. And, well, there's a big wall there. So, nope. Avoid these man catchers. And to actually get inside there, you have to find a secret passageway to actually get into Candlelit Castle. Fortunately, if, just, if this Moblin would just back off. Back off, Moblin. Before I turn you into sweet and sour pork. Bye, Moblin. There we go. Yeah, dig a little bit. Why not? Yeah, like I said, to actually uh, find the secret passage, you want to head over here, up and around. And hey, there's a monkey! What's your name, monkey? Oh, Kiki the monkey! Well, just so happens I have bananas! Yeah, this is the point where you actually have to kind of progress with the tradable side quest. So give him bananas, he gets all happy and makes you a bridge! Thank you, Kiki! Kiki Jiki? No, that's uh, that's another game. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> Monkey business. Yep. But for helping, for having Kiki help us, he gives us a stick. Now, in the Game Boy uh, version of it, the stick would actually be just lying in the middle of the bridge. But yeah, now we have a way into Candlelight Castle. Let's see if we can find those five five golden leaves. Ah ah ah. Dig a hole. I thought there was something there. Oh well. If you come over here and you cut this bush down, there's your secret way into the castle. Very nice. Just like in Link to the Past. Ooh, more goblin. Come on, mob. How's it called mob? Why did I call them moblins? They're goombas. Man, my head is just not into the game today. I need to get I need to focus. Breathe. Whew. Okay. First things first, head over to the left here. Kill these soldiers. See if we can. Oh, okay. Come on. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now to aggravate that bird, which we'll actually need to. Yep, you can't jump up and hit. Once you pick up one of these stones and throw it, and that'll make him mad. And before, just wait for him to land. Swipe him. He's gonna come up and got him. And for killing that bird, we get the first golden leaf. Four more to go. Awesome. 
there's more troops here. Let's kill this troop. Just as with all um, sword, will, sword shield enemies, just wait for him to attack you. Whenever he's stunned, attack him and rinse repeat. Here's another one. Wait, block, block, hit, smack, dead. Here's another one. Boom. Bye bye. Now here's a very annoying trooper. You have the bomb trooper. He's gonna hide in, kind of like a whack a mole. Smack him. There we go. Now where are you? Come on, come on. Oh, it takes a lot of hits too. I mean, you could hit him with a charge shot, but you'd have to be really lucky because you walk really slow when you're charging your sword. So I just walk around. Trying to avoid his bomb blast the best you can and whack the mole. Come on. Crap baskets. See if we can get him. Come on. Whack that mole. We got him. Hooray. Golden leaf number two. All right. Three more to go. And to get the last three, well, actually, I want to go inside Candlelight Castle. Cut the bush. All right. See what's inside here. Oh, it's anti fairy. Now, just like in Link the Bass, use a little magic power on the anti fairy, and it becomes a regular fairy. Now, watch out, you have a spear throwing soldier. Actually, two of them. Dang it, god dang it. Come on, Go on more. Gotcha. Kill the slime. Ooh. And for killing all of them, we get golden leaf number three. Very good, very good, very good. All right. Yep. Two more to go. Head up here. Watch out for the soldiers. Block, smack, block, smack. parry, repost, parry, repost. Hey, free heart. I'll take it. Watch out for the keys. I did notice one thing. Compared to models, these soldiers do throw their spears a lot faster. We step on this little pressure plate, and yep, the gate is open. Now we can just walk in and out of Candlelit Castle, so yeah, you don't have to worry about going all the way around if you want to come back. And honestly, if you collect everything like I'm doing, you probably will never come back to Candlelit Castle. Let's just want to, you know, reminisce a little bit. Now over here, you can't really get these soldiers locked in, but since it's the wall is cracked, toss a bomb, blow them out the wall, kill these knights. All right, that's one. Set our second bomb. Watch out. Attack. Parry. Repost. For killing him, we get... Yeah! Golden Leaf number four! Just one more to go! Yes, indeed. Doing really well. Ooh, I, uh, I guess you have the last Golden Leaf. Let's head over here and head outside. I wonder where this leads. Yep, we're on the second floor. Just head around, and if you want to hop down, you can, but hey, we're almost done anyway, so. Yeah, let's see if we can finish off this last soldier. Whoa, how are we supposed to open this door that has a pot on it? Yeah, just throw a pot at the door and it opens. Yeah, I can't think of anything any more obvious. Now, good thing is, if you break this pot, you get some more bombs, which you kind of need. Break this pot, and we get another heart, just to fill us up to full. Get through this room, and it's time for boss battle time against the Morningstar soldier. Well, it's not really a morning star, it's more like a flail soldier. Now, what you want to do is just wait for him to throw it, let him expose himself. Don't get too close because you'll hit by, get hit by the um, flail. But watch him just flail around, don't let him get too close. And even if he hits you, just make sure you hit him. Get your shots in. He's not that difficult. I mean, he takes a lot more shots than the one in Link of the Past did, I will say that. And we got him! If we're defeating him, we get the last golden leaf. Now, I wonder what Richard have to say about that. What does Richard have in store for us? Can he give us the key that we need to get into the next dungeon to defeat the next nightmare and get the next wind instrument? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening! This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure.